There is nothing I hate more than when a company rips you off so bad, you just know you're getting ripped off. So, the GoPro Hero 6 has just been released, and it's the newest GoPro by our most trusted action camera company. And it's supposed to be the best one of all the GoPros. But I actually disagree with this statement, and I think the Hero 5 is still better than the GoPro Hero 6. GoPro Hero 6 price has been jacked up by 100 bucks in places around the world, potentially $200, $300. The prices are all over the place in different countries, and it it doesn't make any sense to me why they can't just have the same price. Obviously, with the different exchange rate, but just the same price in US dollars instead of making crazy different prices to try to rip people off into thinking that, you know, it's fair for them. And the worst part is that people are actually buying the product because they think, even though I'm getting ripped off, you know, it's a GoPro, it's a good product. And there's my problem. It's not a good product. You see, it's been having some color issues on the screen, like on the camera. It's having some motion issues. It's lagging the the operating system software I guess you could call it and they're still they haven't fixed it and they haven't to they haven't said anything they kinda just assume that people are just gonna buy this thing and have all these problems if I was in your shoes and you're looking to buy a new action camera I would honestly go with the Hero 5 it is a hundred dollars cheaper assuming you're not in one of these a country that they have just completely changed everything but if you're in the North America, it's about a hundred bucks cheaper. You're getting essentially the same thing. Something's better, and you don't get that that slow motion, 60 frames per second, 4K. That's actually not a big deal, given that the other, the, you know, the problems that come with the Hero 6 aren't worth it for this one new feature. And to be honest, the design is the same. The, the operating system is the same, and the hundred dollars for 60 FPS 4K is not worth a, it's not worth a hundred dollars. Ask anybody, it's not worth a hundred dollars. So I would just go with that Hero 5 option, and even better choice actually, the one I have is the Hero 5 Session because it's way cheaper, and you're sacrificing only the screen, and that's not a huge deal. So I don't think that it would be a too much of a problem getting a session camera. So if you guys are looking into buying an action camera, tell me down below what action camera are you guys going to be getting? Are you going to be picking up the 6 or the 5? Are you going to be working with those problems on the 6? Do you think they're going to resolve the problem and maybe are or are you just going to wait till they release a new camera because maybe that one will be better than the 6, who knows? Tell me down below what you guys are doing and like this video also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content just like this and have a great day guys see ya